Have you ever wondered how both birds and insects can fly, even though they look so different? In this fun and educational video, kids will learn the key differences between flying insects and birds in a simple and engaging way with colorful visuals and easy explanations. Grasshoppers are amazing jumpers. Some can leap up to 20 times their body length. That's like a person jumping across a basketball court. Their green bodies help them blend into grass and leaves, making it hard for birds and other animals to find them. Grasshoppers don't breathe through noses. They take in air through tiny holes called spiracles on the sides of their body. Unlike humans, grasshoppers don't have ears on their heads. They hear using special organs on the sides of their abdomen, tummy. The toco toucan, Ramphostos toco, is the biggest and most well-known species of toucan. Its huge, colorful bill makes it easy to recognize. Its giant beak may look heavy, but it's actually made of light, spongy tissue called keratin. This allows the toucan to have a large bill without carrying much weight. The toucan's bill isn't just for reaching fruit, it helps with temperature control, acting like a radiator, defense, and even courtship displays. Beetles have armor-like shells that protect their soft bodies underneath. Beetles can be super strong, lifting objects over 100 times their own weight. Beetles live almost everywhere, from jungles to deserts, except the ocean. Beetles help clean the environment by feeding on dead plants and animals. Beetles breathe through tiny holes on their sides instead of using lungs. Roosters are famous for their loud cock-a-doodle-doo. They usually crow at sunrise, but they can crow any time of day to show who's boss. A rooster is the male chicken, while the female is called a hen. Baby chickens are called chicks. Roosters often have colorful and shiny feathers, especially on their necks and tails, which make them stand out. That red thing on top of their head is called a comb, and the red skin under their beak is called a wattle. Both help them stay cool and show their health. Spiders are not insects, they're arachnids, which means they have eight legs and two body parts, not six legs like insects. Many spiders spin silky webs to catch insects. Their silk is stronger than steel for its size and super stretchy. Even though they can't fly, some spiders use their silk to balloon. They float through the air on a silk thread. Spiders live on every continent except Antarctica. You'll find them in forests, deserts, caves, houses. Geese are great flyers. They can fly very high and very far sometimes, over mountains, and for thousands of kilometers during migration. They fly in a V shape. This helps them save energy and stay together when flying long distances. Geese are very loyal. They often stay with the same mate for life and protect their families fiercely. They make loud honking sounds. Geese honk to talk to each other and warn the group if they sense danger. They are smart birds. Geese remember people places, and even learn routines. Some can even recognize their names. Ducks are natural swimmers from the day they hatch. Their webbed feet act like paddles, making swimming super easy and fun. Not all ducks say quack. Some ducks whistle, squeak, or grunt depending on their type. Each duck has its own unique voice. Ducks love to be around other ducks. They play, swim, 
and even talk to each other with happy little sounds. Ducks have the special ability to rest half of their brain and keep one eye open to stay safe while sleeping. Stag beetles are harmless to humans. They might look scary, but they don't bite or sting. Stag beetles use their large jaws to wrestle other males, especially when trying to impress a female. Stag beetles love places like forests, parks, and gardens with old wood and trees to lay eggs. Stag beetles are mostly active at night and are often attracted to lights. Tag beetles have a hard, shiny shell that protects their body and helps keep them safe. Stag beetles can fly using wings that are hidden under their shell. Honey bees collect nectar from flowers and turn it into sweet honey, which they store in their hive to eat later. Bees are pollinators, which means they help flowers, fruits, and vegetables grow by moving pollen from one plant to another. Bees live in colonies with a queen bee, worker bees, and drone bees. Everyone has a special job. Only female bees, mostly workers, can sting, and most only do it if they feel threatened. Bumblebees are very gentle. Ants live in big families. Ant colonies can have thousands or even millions of ants working together like a team. They are super strong. Ants can carry things that are 10 to 50 times heavier than their own body weight. Each ant has a job. Some ants gather food. Others take care of baby ants. And the queen lays eggs. They talk with their antennas. Ants use their antennas to smell, touch, and talk to other ants by tapping and sharing smells. Ants live underground or in trees. They build tunnels and chambers to sleep, store food, and raise their young. Butterflies are beautiful insects known for their colorful wings which are covered in tiny scales that reflect light. Butterflies start their life as eggs, then hatch into caterpillars, and later transform into pupas or chrysalises, before finally emerging as butterflies. Some butterflies fly fast, while others flap their wings slowly, like the swallowtail butterfly. Thanks for watching! We hope you had fun learning about flying insects and birds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you never miss a new learning video. Got a favorite insect or bird? See you next time for more fun and facts right here on 